To render out the current frame on its own, as either a PNG or an SVG, you can go to the file menu and choose the appropriate option. To render out an image sequence or a movie, you need to use the render window. This is found in the file menu. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Command R on Mac or Control R on Windows. You should think of render items in Cavalry in terms of deliverables, so you only need to set them up once and then you can reuse them as many times as you like. You can set the name of your render using the file name attribute. Notice that when we change this, the render path preview at the bottom of the item updates. Whatever you change the file name to will be reflected in the header bar, as this is what determines the name of the render item. You can control the resolution scale in here, as well as the folder into which the render will go. From the Format tab, you can choose the file format. To output a movie, choose ProRes from the options. Both PNG and ProRes are lossless. Notice how when we choose ProRes that our path preview has changed to have the .mov ending. If you ever need to duplicate the render item, you can select the header bar and then press Command on Mac or Control on Windows in the D key. To close a render item, click the roll down button to the left of the header. To stop a render item from rendering, click the tick. To turn off all the items below the one you click on, hold Alt and click the tick. This also works for the roll down arrow button. To the right of the header, you'll see a tag which shows you what the item's format is. Next to this is the bin button. Use this to delete the render item. To render the queue, click the Render Queue button. Dynamic rendering is a hugely powerful part of Cavalry's rendering system. This is covered in other videos, links to in the description.